good. Well, uh, welcome to the Coast Guard Net. I see that you served in the U.S. Air Force. I've got you in the Long Coast from a few years ago. You drive safely out there in, uh, in South Carolina, and uh, your report is 54, 5 to 4, of it. I made this video yesterday specifically for my sister because I sent her an infed half-wave HF antenna and a, she's probably already got it set up to be honest she's probably already using it she's probably already on the air but I sent the video anyway just because I wanted to because I thought it would be neat and and that's what you're fixing to see now but I decided and, and it's about setting up the antenna and stuff and she's probably already got all that done uh, but anyway I, th then some people were like being nosy and stopped and they were video recording me and just like trying to figure out what I was doing they thought I had a drone stuck in a tree or they just couldn't figure out what I was doing <clears throat> so they rode by a couple times I thought it was funny um, and it's one thing about people today they 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 can't mind their own business they have to know what's going on everywhere which which is somewhat understandable but at the same time you know it's just sometimes you just gotta leave people alone you know <clears throat> and that particular time I was on break from work and though I am in uniform um, I probably shouldn't post this video please note that anything that I was doing in that video does not reflect the company attire I was wearing um, although I don't think they would mind um, yeah, that has to be said, I guess. But they, they rode by a couple times and just wanted to know what I was doing. But instead of stopping and saying, what are you doing? I don't know, trying to get proof. I don't know what they were doing. I really don't. But the honest truth, you know, when you're on break, that is your time. Most of the time. Unless it's other... Unless it's otherwise specifically, you know, written in your agreement of working, your break is your time. You know, if I want to bring a fort, a play fort, set it up, sit in it, and read a book, I can do that. If I want to pitch a tent and lay down and take a nap in it, as long as I got permission to use that property, I can do that. If I want to sit on top of my truck with three balloons and watch them float in the air, I can do that. If I want to fly a kite, I can do that on my break. But just the the stupidity of people. And these these two guys look like well, I'm not gonna say because they may one day watch this video. They might get mad at me, but. I don't want anybody mad. I don't want anybody offended. So that I'm just gonna leave that alone. But they weren't your average people. Uh, anyway, it's very creepy. But anyway, I'm in a roll of film. How about a break? I'm on break, and this is a video just for you. So can't be putting purple shirts and stuff on on the internet. But anyways, we gonna set up. Infant halfway real quick. Got my portable. It ain't really portable, but 891 battery pack. I got the uh, infant half wave inside of the uh, thingamabobber. Piece of coax and the antenna. So, don't really have a So, the short wire, which I got these two kind of tied together, but the short one is the counterpoise. It should be about four meters or so. so the short one is the counterpoise, and it goes 
on the half wave, if you can see it, the ground side, the shield, the ground, and you can see it's connected to here. So that one goes there. And on the the transformer box, you got, I believe, that the ground side is the, uh, here, let's use this one. We'll use this one. Anyway, so usually I put the ground side close to this, and the uh, antenna one is away from it, but whatever. Put the ground on. And, and the, the counterpoise, the short one, is the one that's electrically connected to the shield of the coax. Makes sense. And the long wire, which is a half wave on 40 meters, um, which makes it 20 meters long. Again, why we use inches, I still don't know. But anyway, long wire. Got the end of it here. So I'll put this end up in the tree, and then the short one's going to be staked wherever it ends up over here. So here's the stake. Also, I have my trusty kite string winder with the trusty weight everything's got to be trusty eh? so I guess I'm just gonna throw it over that limb over there we'll go, we'll go do that it's about 67 feet long so this does not have to be perfect that's about 10 feet high right there. So I'm gonna, if I can get this to sit still, I don't know if you can see that or not, but. My kite string winder stick broke. So I'll have to get a stick to wind it back up. I'm just gonna actually just take this weight and stick it under this rock right here because it's not that much. So now it's uh goes over that limb. Actually it goes over that one. So it doesn't really matter how you do that. Just wire up there. And um you don't want it touching the limb. You really don't want it touching any limbs or anything. But um, it needs to be up there-ish. Okay. And then this, you want to pull it kind of like so that it's off the ground-ish. If we can get it off the ground. No big deal if we can't. Nobody's going to cry about it. It's probably going to work fine. Especially with that MFJ 939 tuner. Okay, so issue I'm having here is I'm pulling but the weights come out of the rock there and this is laying on the ground counterpoise is on the ground the wires kind of on the ground but it's actually not it almost is but anyway I believe it'll be fine it's really like I said it's not that cool my coax cable wax and this is 
just some. Oh, I got, I got, I got another, I got another one of those uh, that RG8X that you got or should have got in the mail. Hopefully, you got it. Um, and that is actually really good coax. For it's not good for VHF or UHF, but there's there's no loss. There's there's probably one dB a loss, three dB for that hundred feet. Which, which, I mean, yeah, great. I'm not sure what these guys are doing. Look at these guys. What are these guys doing? Video and me. But <laughs> it's just like, what the? What are you doing, man? What are you doing, man? Like creepy. He's like hanging out the window like an idiot. I don't work for you, Peter. Uh, Brown, you ding dong. What, he's gonna tell his boss or something? This guy works for ground. He's look what he's doing. He's out here now. Get the fuck out of here. Alright, so I turn my radio on now. That's how you set her up. Okay. Turn it on. What do we got? 13 <laughs> 13 volts here. I'm on break, dude. Look. They can kiss my butt. I can do whatever I want on break. That's a UPS ground guy up there. I don't even know what they're doing. They're still sitting up there. Like, go away, asshole. Alright. So, let's check. Uh, so, 1.8, 3.5 would be a 40 meter wire. 7 megahertz is 40 meters, so. 20 meter wire should work here. I'm just gonna check the SWR. That's way off. It's way, way off. Uh, oh. What happened? What's going on here? Oh, that's loose in there. Maybe I should have used the one that was working, huh? Yeah, that's no good. I'll use this one. I got a couple of prototypes here that I've been working on, so. A couple of different prototypes. That's not even connected. Maybe let's connect it and see if that makes a difference. Yeah, it's three to one. So. Not so great. I'll get it off the ground. Look. These people around here, they're like, what is this guy doing hanging this wire in this? Let's take a video of it. What the hell is he doing? He's trying to contact the aliens. Look, they're still down there. I'm gonna show you. I'll make a video. Here they come back. Ah. Sure, I'm glad I got help here. That's the one too. Yeah, that's better.
Looks like he dropped off somebody. Now he's look at how slow they're riding. That's crazy. him in the mirror. I'm not sure what's going on. We're just being friggin' nosy. So that's basically how you set up the damn antenna. <laughs> um, I do this every day, so that's that's very normal. Usually people aren't that fucking nosy, but um, anyway. So stake, counterpoise, line to the tree, right? Let me see. You thought I had a drone stuck in the tree? All right. Let me get this thing uh. Let me get this, uh, I'm going to go and hook all this, take it down. What they doing with a line in the tree? I mean, they rode by with a video camera. hilarious like what are you gonna do uh I mean they both look like they're smoking crack literally smoking lots of crack
they seriously interfered with my freaking radio enjoyment of the day though can you believe that crap all right And they're like, really? Really? Yeah, you know, because people do things that you're not involved in, you know? Occasionally, like, other people have lives, and instead of smoking a joint on my break, I'm, I'm you know, fucking smoking crack or drinking a beer. So, normally I don't get harassed that much, but it's been 40 minutes now. I got 20 minutes left on my break. Here's the antenna. And that's it. That's how you set her up there. Cool beans, huh? I just love people. I started to stop recording and, and just go talk to them, but... And then I could have been like, hey, uh, you want to come check it out and play with it? But no, because they were so freaking nosy. They rode that way with the video camera out the window, and then that way, and then that way, and then that way, and then finally... Anyway. Set your antenna up. Because there's people over here are doing stuff that people don't understand. Mm. Or what? Because I'm. What? Because there's somebody over here in the gravel parking lot near the Trinity Myers plant. doing weird stuff in the parking lot on, on its own and people riding by in trucks that wish they had my job have to know what it is I'm doing they'll probably post that on Facebook oh well too bad so sad I was on break so I got proof I'm good <laughs> yep Break's almost over. Later.